Hello again everyone and welcome back to Challenging Farm. Last week we were doing a bit of animal work. We bought 100 cows, but now we need to feed 100 cows. So we need to get a feed mixer. Um, I'm thinking we should probably get the self propel one instead of the, the trail one. Just because I haven't really used that one too much. And then we'll probably buy some sheep, but I'm not sure if we will yet. We'll see. Um, and then I've got a John Deere tractor which I want to try out. I've never used it before, so it could be really bad or it could be really good. Uh, but I definitely want to give it a go and probably do a tiny bit of cultivating or something. But we'll see. We'll just see how we go. Uh, so, yes, the first thing we need to do is to go into the store and go onto feeding technology and buy the coon, which is £116,000. Uh, so, not cheap, but it should be worth it. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Okay, so let's get this thing started up. Also, you may have noticed from a few of my previous videos that the sound just is not right, the balance is not there, um, and that is because I've got my microphone higher up and I've also dropped the game volume um, to a different level. So it might seem that I'm either a bit quiet or a bit loud. I'm going to be trying to change that in due course. But anyway, let's go. This should fit under the bridge, but if it doesn't, we do have a solution, which is to go over the other bridge. And that is probably actually just as quick going that way, so it really doesn't matter if it fits or not. And the problem with this is it's not very fast. I think we should probably get a lorry at some point, uh, possibly a mod and a, a transport trailer, because there are some machines which I either don't want to put on the road or are just so slow you might as well put it on the back of a lorry. But um, at the moment we'll just see how much money we've got spare because we need to get sheep, we need to get chicken, we need to get a tractor and then obviously whatever's left over we can put towards a lorry. Um, but yeah I don't think we'll be, have an issue with money because this money that we're using is obviously from the first version of Chinatown which we did with the silage and we'll probably do some more that combine is still in the field and that field now has a crop in it because obviously we've changed the version so we can harvest it all again what fun I think we'll probably do a different field though because there's so many to go at I think it'd be a bit boring to do the same one again there are some quite neat little fields anyway we are almost there Someone did suggest actually, you know last time I was looking to see if we had any bales. The silage bales which are in this field here which have all fallen over. Um, I said we should probably drive down there and see if they're there. Someone said that you don't have to do that, you can actually go into the buy an object um, mode. You know when you're buying like a wind turbine or something and you can fly over there. I don't particularly like the idea for realism but obviously for quickness it's a pretty good idea. So. I'll probably be using that in something like multiplayer, but for the realism single players, probably not. But thanks for the suggestion, it is quite a good idea. Now let's see, oh, we probably should have had our beacon on actually because we're fairly slow moving. I don't know. Uh, but let's see if we fit under here. It's a bit tall. Uh, I can always reverse though. Oh, easy. Dead easy. Thinking about it, that was probably a slow way to come because the other way goes straight to the cows. This way we have to go all the way round and then through the yard and then down the yard. But what we need to do is position it somewhere where there's plenty of space So probably about there. Now we can suck up silage, but uh, the problem we have is we don't actually have enough in the clamp. Luckily it did transfer this over, but we don't have enough in to blank it. Oh, maybe we do actually. We just haven't compacted it. We've got 20% in there. So that might be a good idea. I'll compact it and then uh, blanket it over and then we'll be able to use that next time. But this time, we're using silage bales anyway, 
So that's not an issue. May take some time, so I'll just pause the video for a second. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. I was trying to do the silage pit, and my bale grab stuck in the side. It's a good dancer though. Look at it go. Do 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 do. Okay, job done. So that is the silage pit. Uh, that can be now left like that. The silage bales. This is where I always get it wrong. Ugh. So many people have told me what to do here, and I always forget what percent of each thing we have to put in. Ah, <sighs> okay, right. Uh, I know whatever I do, it'd be wrong, but I'll give it a go. I probably shouldn't start off with silage thinking about it. I think we'll probably start off with a hay bale. Because I do vaguely remember someone saying that once you've put the two things, straw and hay in, then you put the silage in. So I'll make sure I put that in last. Uh, now I won't be able to do this without knocking something off. Wow. I did. Okay, well, I, I really don't know percentages of this, so we're just going to have to guess. I should really write it down for next time. Uh, so, that is... Obviously 100% hay. I don't know if those markers on the actual mixing ratio lines there mean much. I don't know if that's the percentage you're supposed to mix uh, or not. But I'll continue and we need to have a spike for these straw bales because these are, are square bales. Um, and I think the square bales have got the same capacity as the round so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'll go and find the spike. Oh and of course remembering that we've got it level. Otherwise it jumps into the air. There we go. Much better. So that must be 50-50. So I'm assuming that if we were to fill that to the top with silage, that may give us the right mix. Uh, but yeah, just remember that I'm <laughs> really bad at remembering stuff like that. So if I have got it wrong, instead of just shouting at the screen or typing in capitals, please just let me know what it is and I'll write it down. I'll definitely write it down. In fact, what I'll do is I'll I'll print it off and I'll stick it on my wall so I know exactly what to do next time. Where have I put my grab? There it is. Okay. In cab again. the wrapping and everything. So it makes it easy. Oh it's full anyway, so I've just put one of each in. Seems to have done the trick. 
it's as long as it's registering as mixed ration and not something like silage, then it's all good. So what we want to do is head down here, find their troughs. I'm not sure where their troughs are at the moment, actually. Um, uh, I'm guessing it's just here then. We we'll just put them in here. Wait for the unload symbol to appear. If it's going to. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to. There must be a special trough somewhere else then. Um, unless it's in here, of course. It could be. If I can get it in there. Yep, it seems to be low enough. And yeah, there we go. It's working. Brilliant. Right. So if anyone else is having trouble with that, you have to go into this section. Don't know if it would need it all. You would have thought it would with 100 cows. Yep. That should be okay for now. Uh, so the cows, where are we? So here we are. Cows have got 1200 litres of mixed ration. Good job it did make mixed ration, so that should be okay. Um, they do need water and they do need straw. They're obviously making liquid manure because they haven't got straw to make the manure from. We'll have to do a wheat or a barley harvest very soon. Um, otherwise, they're not going to have any straw. But that should be it for the mixer wagon for now. I'll just park it in here. We'll turn the engine off. Um, and we need to find out where the water fill points are. I don't know where they are. Because I've never done it. Now they may just be very local to the farm or they may be somewhere a long way away. So we've got the slurry pit, the milking parlour, obviously the cow's shed, uh, milk storage which we'll have to go and sell when it's full. But water, uh, I don't know, um, it doesn't look like you actually get it from here. On Cobra Farm you get it from the store but there is one at the, uh, the yard so I don't know, we're going to have to have a bit of a hunt around for the water. I'll just park this up for now. We will need to go and get a water bowser because we don't own one. Oh, here we go. This looks promising. Warning, not drinking water. Well, we found that then. But water bowser we don't have. At least it's local to the cows. We can easily get to them. So we need to buy um, the water bowser. I think it's in miscellaneous, yep. Mobile water tanker. Um, and we may as well buy the John Deere as well. Now I don't know how good this is, it may be amazing. £217,000, so it better be good, because <laughs> that's a lot of money. Here it is. It looks quite good. Quite good model. So, hopefully it's going to be good. I don't know if it's got interrupts control. No, it hasn't. So it looks like quite a basic thing but it should be quite fun to use. Now as they're both here together we'll hopefully try and attach it to the water bowser and then take it up to the yard. Well that sounds good. Oh it drives. Brilliant. It's a good start. Oh, You can see the farmer's neck though. Oh wow look at that. If you look down his neck you can see on the back of him he's got a John Deere logo. Must be a real fan. Oh, it does attach. Well, that makes it easier. Instead of having to bring another tractor down here. I don't know how fast it is. It's quite nice to drive. Wouldn't mind doing some cultivating or some seeding with it. Seems quite realistic. 
think maybe if you couldn't see the farmer inside it'd be better. But otherwise, it seems quite good. Now I'll put the download link for this below if you want to download it. Um, but yeah, I think certainly it's okay. I've had worse. And I can imagine it's quite hard to get a, a tractor vehicle to work properly. Because it doesn't have wheels. It's it's quite complex by the look of it. So yeah, I don't know if we'll actually get a chance to use this properly today with any cultivation work because we don't really have any fruit which have been harvested. I think everything we own is either cultivated already or or they're looking at that one. Has that got a crop in it? Can't really tell. Um, or it needs to be harvested. So yeah, it's got a crop in it. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a harvest very soon and then we will cultivate or, or drill straight away with this um, to give it a proper test. Because I don't really use that much John Deere stuff. It's a bit of a shame really. I'd quite like to use some more. It's just finding the decent mods. I've always wanted to use a tracked vehicle so I thought this would be quite a good choice. But it's eaten away at our budget. We only have half a million pounds now, which isn't too bad really, but it's uh, not as much as we did have. So we'll just park this up, and put the tanker there, and we'll take it off. We'll just temporarily put this in a shed. And turn the engine off of course. Now we'll just jump into the class and attach it to the water bowser. Don't really want to be giving the cows water with a tracked John Deere. It's a little bit big. Now this will cost money, I believe you can take it out of a river, but as it is so close, I think we probably should take it from here. We'll work on the sheep in another episode, uh, we're just doing the cows today. We don't actually have any sheep yet. Oh, yeah, I don't know if that's going to fit. The cab might, but it's the beacons. Yeah, it's the beacons. Uh, they just about fit. If only you could fold them down. Don't think you can with this one. You can with some. I have to leave a different way. It's filling up. We should probably use that converted slurry tanker though for water because it's obviously got a much larger capacity. And when we've got so many animals, it uses a great deal. And it's a lot of loads with this one. So I think that is probably them sorted for today. So we'll just park this up. And uh, until next time, that is it for today. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.